The blue car has a rubber band stretched around it. When you press the orange car against the rubber band, you stretch it even more. What will happen when I let go of the orange car? The rubber band rebounds, applying a force to the orange car. Since that force is unbalanced, the car accelerates. The blue car doesn't move. But let's move the cars to the center of the track, away from the supporting wall. This plastic piece is holding the cars together. When I pull on this string, it will release both cars at the same time, allowing the rubber band to rebound. Predict what will happen to the orange and blue cars. This time, both cars move. That's because when the rubber band pushed the orange car, the orange car pushed back on the rubber band. This is predicted by Newton's third law of motion. For every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. The rubber band's force is the action force. The orange car's force is the reaction force. Now, in this example, both of the cars have the same mass. But what'll happen if one of the cars has more mass? Predict, what's gonna happen to the orange and blue cars? This time, the car with no extra mass went the same distance as before, but the car with added mass went less far. Let's make sure it's not just a fluke in the car. We'll switch the mass to the orange car this time. Same result. The car with a marble in it traveled less far, while the empty car traveled the same distance as before. We can explain this with Newton's second law. An object's acceleration depends on the net force acting on it and its mass. More force, more acceleration. More mass, less acceleration. The force from the rubber band is still the same, because it's still being stretched the same amount. The only thing that's changed is the mass of the orange car. Let's see what happens when we increase the mass even more. Predict, what will happen to the orange and blue cars now? It traveled an even smaller distance. What about with three marbles? Even smaller. Let's recap. The rubber band applied a force to the orange car when it rebounded. That was the action force. At the same time, the orange car applied a force to the rubber band. That was the reaction force. The action and reaction forces have equal magnitudes or strengths. When the cars had equal masses, they accelerated the same amount. But when one car became more massive, it responded to that same force with less acceleration. So, even though every action force has an equal and opposite reaction force, the amount of acceleration you get depends on the mass.